Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Miss QT Style. Welcome back to my channel where I'm leading the way in fashion, beauty, and non-candy coated talk. And I come to you today in this video with a few things. Um, but first, let me just say to my um, QT's winners, I mailed your um, prizes off Saturday morning. So they're saying Tuesday, but today is a holiday. So hopefully they come tomorrow. If not, then Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoy your t-shirts. I just picked some QT's. And I hope you guys like them. Also, for uh, the ladies who participated in my sisterhood tag, uh, the gifts that I said I would send you guys. I already sent uh, Miss Dina Diva hers, the grand prize winner. But to you other ladies, I sent out your little packages. And I sent them out Saturday. Okay? Now, I didn't put tracking on those because they were just little packages. So, please hit me up in my inbox and let me know when you guys receive them. Either Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, BBW Sweet and Sexy, be on the lookout for a little something something um, extra I sent you as well um, for sending me those beautiful, that beautiful two boxes of love mail. Um, so I sent you a little something. I was going to let it be a surprise, but I want you to be on the lookout for it. I do have tracking number for that and I will um, hit you up in your inbox um, with that. Um, so be on the lookout for that. So I just wanted to come uh, first and show you guys, um, I promise to show you the... Um, the professional cordless trimmer that I bought. Um, it has a picture of a man on it, but I think it's a woman one because it's pink. And um, this is what my brother used to line my hair. I got it from Dee Dee's on sale for $12.99. I think the regular price was um, $19.99. And I just want to show you guys how it looked. This is it right here. And it sits on this charger. And I have to plug it up to keep it charged. Something like you do your cell phone. And I just thought it was really cute and was perfect for my little TWA. And um, I like that it's not hooked to the cord. Because I don't know how, how <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, how to trim my own hair. And so plugged in, I would be nervous. But you just charge it and you trim it. My brother says it cuts really well. That's the blade that I need to clean already because he lined me up. Um, Gel Beret de Paris, I guess you call it. And this is, um, you can hear it, it's on, and I can, um, I ought to try to do it, huh? See, I can trim it myself, I'm scared to go <laughs> all the way. But yeah, this is the little trimmer I was talking about, and it sits here and charges. And I'm glad I got it, because now I can line my own self up um, as well. So that's one thing. Oh, and it comes with, um, what do you call these, y'all? I'm so clueless to this. Attachments, comb attachments that I can um, trim some. Of, like, I have some in the back that he needs to really trim. He was in a rush, so he just lined me a little bit. And I have the oil and a little brush and stuff. So it's, it's cute. So if you got a little TWA or a little short cut and you want to do it at, at home, get the little cutesy girly one. All right, um... Something else. Oh, I bought some more shoes yesterday when we went to Hometown Buffet. That's where my little shoe store is. Actually, I bought two pairs. One for me, one for my daughter. Um, let me see. She wear the 10, I wear the 9. This is mine. And it was $12.99. Um, That's hers. $12.99. Lately, we've been buying the same shoes. Usually, we can buy one pair of shoes. We can wear the same. But look like I went down a size. But here is the shoes. Cute little sandals we bought. I love the heels of them. And they're flowered at the top. And they have this type of backing on the shoe. But then it's a tie around the um, ankle. Wrap around the ankle shoe. And so my daughter wants it exactly like this. Exact, exact color and everything. So I thought these was cute. I had um $3 discount on shoes at that store. So that's why I went in there and I purchased them. Um... While I had that um, discount. Also, you guys, these were supposed to be in giveaways, but I'm gonna keep it for myself. I bought this from Dee Dee's. I just thought it was really cute. These little bling bling um, brushes. And like I said, I was gonna do it in a giveaway, but I'm gonna keep these for myself. And I got these for $4.99 at Dee Dee's. I just like the bling. Now, this, you guys, I bought two of. And I was going to do it in a giveaway, but I'll tell you why I'm not um, in a little while. I bought this e.l.f. Um, 
it's an eyebrow collection where it has the um, different stencils. You have an eyebrow pencil in there. It has like the um, gel for your eyeshadow. And it has like the color here to do your eyeshadows and the tweezers. And I thought this was really cute for a giveaway. This is mine. I do have another one over there. Um, and it was um, $3.99. So I guess I'll just probably give the other one to my daughter if she wanted. Or I'll keep it for myself too. Again, very cute. Very nice. Okay, now, I just wanted to show you guys that. And now I want to talk about um, something else. Now, you guys know I did the video um, yesterday <clears throat> speaking about uh, the young lady who was saying about black businesses and buy earrings and sell them for hire and all that. Okay, so, you know, quite a few people commented under that video because they understood what I was saying. Um, she also commented under that video. And she also, I noticed, did a video, I guess today or late last night, pretty much, um, I mean, she wasn't apologizing, but she was explaining what she already had explained in the inbox to me, that she didn't mean no harm and, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> I didn't watch the whole video. I just kind of skipped over it. But I just want to say um, to you, I understand that you might not have meant any harm. And but first of all, let me say, I know that you didn't just make that video for me. And I think I stated that in my other video. You probably, you made it for a few boutiques, as you say. Um, I know you weren't just talking about me. But you have to realize, when you said it, I have a boutique. You had just hit me up about some earrings. You had just made the comment about my earrings. I'm black, etc., etc. So, of course, I'm going to um, have my say-so about it. But this is the thing. Whether or not you was directing it at me, too, or not, I still am glad that I made that video because still you're kind of, you was trying to knock black owned businesses and you specified black. I didn't say it, you did. Okay. So that's why I had a problem with it because it's almost like a, it was like a, you were trying to tarnish black businesses. Now you might not have been doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe you didn't realize how it was coming off, but it came off as if black own boutiques, boutiques, um, buy cheap jewelry and sell it for $10. So I am not sorry about that video that I made. I'm just a real person. I meant everything I said in that video, but I do not think you were just talking to me. You probably were talking to a few others. Like you said, you said you looked at my site over a month ago. You might have, but you asked me two days ago about it after I had those pink earrings in. So but that's neither here nor there. Whether or not you was talking to me or not, I still feel like I should have did the video because I am a black business owner who sell jewelry. Okay? So I was answering that. Okay? I'm not apologizing for it and I'm not sorry for that video. I do appreciate you making your video and um, you saying, you know, what you said. Like I said, we cool. I am not mad with you. I don't even know you. Like you, I guess you you about to get off my channel because you said it was good knowing you for the short period of time. We don't know each other. Okay? Because this is, this is the internet. And yes, you have been commenting on my videos, and stuff, but you just now started commenting on the video. So my thing is, that's up to you if you want to leave my channel. I mean, I'm cool with it. But I just want to say, I hope you don't think that because I responded that you have to do that. I do not hate you. I do not know you. You know, you, you probably, you seem like a, a genuine, sincere person in a way, but some of your comments are kind of backwards or compliment but then I'm gonna shoot because you even said something about when I said that I use Avon deodorant you're talking about oh don't trust Avon it's like you have something like a little negative to say about everything okay so like I said I appreciate your video I am not mad with you I do not hold grudges on simple stuff like this I try not to hold grudges on even bigger stuff but I don't hold grudges I do not hate you I do not dislike you I, just, I really don't know you I just know what I felt was going on at that time so if you feel like you need to get off of my channel, then you do that. But please believe that I'm not trying to run you off. I don't want you to leave. I would like to, for us to get along. I would like to see what you have to offer, you know, in a video and, um, and, and look at your videos. Maybe I can learn something. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, do what you feel. But I appreciate it. Yeah, we are cool. So we cool. I, that's all I can say. We cool. Just know, you don't know me, I don't know you. You don't know, this is how Miss QT style is when I feel somebody is keep coming at me. And I do still believe that some of the things you said, you were coming at me with it because 
I'm looking under your video. And by the way, yeah, I do. You said that um, to Melani, Melani, but you spelled it wrong. You said um, one of your subjects look like Mary J. Blige. Thank you. That's a compliment. Yes, I've been told that before. Uh, they say I look like Mary J. Blige. I, I've been told I look like Rock Digger. I've been told I look like Niecy Nash. I look like um, the lady from um, Steve, uh, who's that on Steve Urkel and the mama on Steve Urkel. I've even been told I look like Natalie Cole, which I don't see that. Um, it's all good. And Mary J. Blige is one of my idols, so that's a compliment. So, like I said, sis, seriously, I'm not mad with you. You know, I just have to say what I have to say. But, so I hope we cool. I hope you don't leave the channel. Um... For this reason, I mean, if you just want to leave, I mean, like I said, that's on you. But I don't want you to think that, oh, now Miss QT style don't like me and she got people saying stuff. No, I, I was just repeating because I didn't like the fact that you said black owned businesses. I'll get these earrings and sell it for hire because I am a black owned business. If you can feel me a little bit on that. And I do feel you on people misunderstanding you because I'm misunderstood a lot. Just like I'm misunderstood by you on this video. I did not say you were talking about me just me but i am a black owned business that you had just hit up and you made some comments about my big long earrings so this is why i have to say something i'm just one to speak out some people ignore some people say oh it's not worth my time but i'm one to speak out now i'm saying that to say i think it's time that miss qt style chills out a little bit with making videos i'm not shutting my channel down i will still be here I will still, I will comment on people's videos. Okay. I'm such a damn crybaby because I'm about to tear up on stuff ladies because I love making videos. But sometimes it's time to just back up. Um, and I say that to say is because like, it seems like every little thing I'm going to do now, somebody got something to say because they know that I'm going to say something back. And sometimes it's just time to just take a seat. And I think it's my time to take a seat because I'm not on here to keep on, um, commenting and retaliating. And maybe that's a fault that I have that I can't like let things slide or I don't let things slide I have to comment on it um I think I've done enough videos I almost got about 600 videos on here so I'm gonna let them percolate in and be in circulation for a little while next I probably will do a couple of more videos though because I do have contact uh giveaway going on and I do have to announce the giveaway I have the attitude which I will probably end soon I had never put an end date on it but so that I can get this over and done with and stop making videos, I may end it tomorrow. I see I have two video entries. I have a few comments. So, if you're interested in that contest, please go ahead and do your entry because I probably will be shutting it down either tomorrow, Tuesday, or the next day. And then after that, that will be my last contest. That's why I said I was going to do um, giveaway. I had a few things actually over there to give away, and this was one of them. But I'm going to chill because, and let me just say, haters... Or people that probably been wanting me off. I'm not getting off because of you. And I actually I'm not getting off. I am just stopping making videos because I just need to take a seat sometimes. And sometimes it gets to be too much. And plus I want to take a seat to see and watch other people and comment more on other people's um, videos. I'll be sometimes so busy making videos because some are pop to my mind. And I make the videos, and, and and then I end up loading the videos, try to watch other people's videos, and then I fall asleep. <laughs> and But I want to watch videos. So I'll be, you'll see my name up and down, Miss QT Style, typing and commenting on people's videos, but I will not be making any more videos too much over here. Not saying I won't ever make any more, because like I said, I have to come and announce my winner. And who knows? I don't know. It might be something that I feel that I should make a video. But what I'm saying is I'm going to slow down. Y'all know I'll put out like four, five videos a day. I may do maybe one every two weeks now because there's some things I need to focus on anyway in my life so I can get that together. And when I get that together, I will be back full force making videos because it'll be another part of my life and I'll be in another area and I want to share that. But just videos, videos like I do, I'm not going to do it because it gets to be too much. And the more you do videos, the more, you know, some people are going to come on and try to 
uh, cause negativity. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about like the people who, you know, they just sometimes you need to take a back seat. So Miss QT Star is going to take a back seat. I have to do this in real life sometimes, especially with females, because um, it's always a female that seems to have an issue. Always. And, I, you know, before I say too much on the video, because, you know, people watching, I, I was about to tell you all some other incidents and, you know, that you have to kind of like, even like on, I'm going to say it, on jobs, you have to kind of like back up because people start getting intimidated by you and stuff, thinking that, oh, you're going to get a position and they don't, or somebody, a new person at the jobs likes you, your personality better. So sometimes you just have to chill. I can't help that I'm a friendly person and <clears throat> that a lot of people, you know, like me. Okay. There's a lot that don't like me because of how I am, but then there's a lot of people that just cling to me because I'm a people person. So sometimes I have to take the back burner and sit my ass down sometimes in real life to keep from having to, you know, you know, get into it with people. So definitely on YouTube, this is one of the times that Miss QT Style needs to back the fuck up. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back up, but I'm still going to be doing me and I still will be focusing on my business. That's where I'll be at over there on my site. And I found another little place that I'm going to be on that I can show fashion a lot. And that's what I like to do. You know, I have to, I'll do less talking. Like one of my haters came after that uh, video I did about um, people thumbing down, talking about they came with a fake profile, talking about um, I talk too much. Well, I'm sorry. This is my God-given talent to talk, okay? I talk too much. This is what videos and making videos are about, okay? So I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill with talking too much over here, but I'm going to be somewhere else talking a whole lot. So you're still not stopping nothing. And I do have my other channel. My other vlog channel that I may be over there talking. I'm talking about on this Miss QT style fashion channel. I'm going to chill out a little bit. Because I, like I said, I got about 600 videos. Okay? Almost. Um, so I may be over there um, talking. You know, like I may not. But I do have another uh, social site that I'm going to, well, actually, I'm going to um, make an account there. So that I can, you know, talk about fashion. Because that's what I like to do. Until, uh, hopefully, no shit starts to jump off over there. But it's a little different than, like, you know, here and stuff. Um, so, with that being said, you guys, I'm out. Like I said, Miss QT Star don't be meaning no harm by what she says. I just feel like sometimes I need to speak on some things. So, I will be, like I said, commenting on other people's uh, videos. And so, I look forward to um, to doing that. So, you guys have a... Happy Memorial Day. This is what I have on my stores. It's not 4th of July, but Memorial, you know, Memorial Day is for um, our veterans that fought for us, past and present. Uh, my daddy is a veteran, so happy Memorial Day to him, too, and to everybody. And um, I guess this is a final wrap. Curtains closed. Bravo. The little wood clapper stick. And it's a wrap. It's QT Style is out.